You're going to open up your pictures and select the image you want and extend it. Extending it will make it easier to work on. So then next go to layer and then click on duplicate layer. And the new layer that you just added, double, double tap it and rename it red background. Once you've done that, you're going to go to the little post-it note next to the trash can. And that will open up a new layer and rename it Red Layer. Then click on Red Background and go to Duplicate Layer again. And move the new layer. Move it above. Or move the, the, new, yeah, the new layer that you just added. Move it above the red layer and rename it blue background. Then go to the post-it note again and rename this new one blue layer. After that you're going to click on red layer and go to your paint bucket tool and select the darkest red. Oops, go to the darkest red like that and press OK and then just press on the picture with the make sure you have the paint bucket tool and the little image on the side shall turn red not the picture though then go to then unclick all the little the two little boxes on the side so you only have the red layer then go to the controls and go scroll down and select screen after that it should look like this then once you're done with that you're gonna want to check all the boxes again and then go to blue layer press the paint bucket tool again and select the darkest blue. And that should turn out like that. Then click on the tools again. Or the settings. And go to screen. Then go to layer. And go to merge layers. So you're going to want to merge them down. Then click on the red layer. And layer again. And merge down. So now your layers should be merged down together. Then go to background. Go to adjustment. Click on that one, then again go up, I'm going to go up to blue background, to the mode, set it to, you're going to want to set the mood, the mode to darken, 
and then go to red background and the mode darken as well. Now, once you've done that, your it should look like this, your photo. And then click on um the move tool. Click on the move tool and move it the red background a little bit to the left. Then go to blue background and move it a little bit to the right. Once you're finished, your photo should look like that and you're all done. Hey, what's going on? Today I will be showing you how to play Clash Royale. So this game has been out for a good while. It came out on January 4th, 2016. This game has gotten a lot of attention since it has been out and today I will be playing against my friend Francisco. There are uh, many types of battles that you can play. There is a 1v1 versus your friend or people all around the world or a 2v2 versus um, you and your friend versus other two people. And each match is about three minutes long so I will be showing you the two types of modes there is. And here we go. I'll be showing you a 1v1 real quick first. New deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's in place. It. <laughs> Sending the goblin bear to do a little bit of damage. Right. One more hit and it's over. Alright. Oh, he took that win, so now we're gonna play the 2v2. Good game. Good game. Alright, go join it. It's kind of game. Oh. 
Like uh two v two is just like me and San Francisco versus other people around the world. Ah damn it. Damn it. Which uh, tower are we going to go for first? Look at that. Uh, Kevin? Alright, there. Let's see. Let's see if I'm going to Send in the diamond to the thing. Oh wow, what a fail! You should have put that tornado. Oh lord, <laughs> what a fail! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. See you in the next one. It's Apple Calendar, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it's on your phone. It comes by default. So today is January 30th. Let's go ahead and put an event for January 31st by clicking on the day and then the plus sign in the top right corner I have a soccer game that day so I'm just gonna go ahead and put Carmel soccer game simple as that it's a home game so it's gonna be here in Gonzales so I can just put the location Gonzales High School and um, it starts at 5 p.m. and coach told us to be there earlier so I'll go ahead and put 4 10 p.m. Uh, but the game starts at 5. Games are usually around an hour and 30 minutes. I'll add some extra time and I'll just say it ends at 6 40 p.m. You can also um, have events repeat if you have daily or weekly events. I don't need to do that here because I only play against Carmel 1. Um, there's also a travel time feature which takes the time it'll take you to go to your event and like, into account there are also alerts down here that you can add to an event like um, I can be reminded before the game if I'm forgetful like five minutes a day before an hour before um, well, as you can, but let's go ahead and click add and as you can see the event shows up there um, on Wednesday 31st, I also have an essay due for my Harnell class, and, well, this class is online, and, well, you don't have to put the location every time, um, so in this case, I'm just gonna hold, go ahead and leave it blank, and technically, the essay is due at 11.59pm, but I'm just gonna call it an all-day event, and I'm gonna have it remind me 
at um, at 9 a.m. So yeah. Um, so there it is, all day essay due government. And I want to go ahead and I, I want to go ahead and show you um, how what happens when events overlap. So I'll make one up. I'm gonna call it a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm gonna say it's um, a doctor's appointment at Memorial Hospital in Salinas. This is just an example, so I'm just gonna play around with it. There it is, Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. Um, let's say an appointment at 12. Actually, let's call it one. An appointment at 1 p.m. And to make it overlap with the soccer game, I'll say it ends at 5 p.m. And let's see. Um, okay, let's just add the event. Um, and there it is. As you can see, it overlaps. Nothing catastrophic happens. It, it's just there. Um, I'll go ahead and delete it. Um, to delete it, you just click here at the bottom of the screen, delete delete and it's gone and um, let's say that there are some changes to a soccer game you don't have to delete the whole event and make a new one you can just edit it it's actually much easier than it sounds you just have to hold it down and drag it and well um, you can add or subtract time literally um, by moving it across the little timeline and when you drag it, it'll tell you how many minutes you add. You can also um, stretch it by holding onto one side. Let's say the game gets extended or something. Well, hopefully not that drastically, but you know, it could happen. And I'm just going to go ahead and move it back to where it originally was. So around 4.15. Looks about right. Uh, so I guess there it is. And that's um, just the basics of Apple calendars. Um, it'll... Hopefully this this helped you. It's not that difficult. It's it's pretty helpful to keep yourself organized. But yeah, I hope you found this useful. And you can subscribe to our channel, leave a like, comment. Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use the Netflix app. So first we're gonna just go onto the app, and you could let Netflix send you notifications. And you can put do not allow or allow. So you have a chance to join free for a month and it's just a trial to see if you like it or not. Or you can sign in with your email. Then Netflix is going to say who's watching and you can make your own profile here. Then right when you get on Netflix, it shows new arrivals on top or continue watching. And these are anything that I recently watched or I want to finish watching. There's trending now, which is popular on Netflix that anybody has been watching and it's or dramas or watch it again anything that you've watched it comes here and when you watch when you want to watch it again Netflix also has notifications where it sends you when you are gonna finish a season and a new season comes out it sends you here or when new things are coming to Netflix also Netflix is available for download, so you could download TV shows, movies, and it will go here on my downloads. You can click on a comedy, and it has suggestions for you, so it automatically gives you movies that is similar to what you watch already, or new releases, anything new. Or dark comedies, goofy comedies, and it just has a lot of a variety that you could choose from. 
or Netflix Originals. Netflix <clears throat> Originals is TV shows or movies that Netflix has created. And it all goes here in its own category, just like the rest of these. And you can go on dramas, and it will give you suggestions for you in the drama category of what movies that you want to watch. New releases for dramas, classic dramas, crime dramas, and it's just a lot of different movies and TV shows to choose from. Also, Netflix has a kids option where it's nothing but PG TV shows and movies only for kids. And then it goes into detail like science and nature, friends feel good animals all for kids when they want to watch different types of movies it goes into certain details so you could press on sing-alongs and all the movies or tv shows that sing along it would all be here for anyone to watch and it just is so many to choose from or superheroes and these are all different type of superheroes and it all comes up here netflix also gives you the option to look up a movie so say if you wanted to look up a movie like or a tv show and then it just goes And look at it, so you can go on season eight. And then when you want to sign out of Netflix, all you have to do is just press the sign out button here in your sign out for your security. And you can go ahead and go out. Thank you for watching.